Makara is a sea creature in Hindu mythology. It is generally depicted as half terrestrial animal in the frontal part and half aquatic animal in the hind part. Makara take many different forms throughout Asia. In Hindu astrology, Makara is equivalent to the sign of Capricorn, tenth of the twelve symbols of the zodiac. Makara appears as the Vahana of the river goddess Ganga and of the sea god Varuna. Makara are considered guardians of gateways and thresholds, protecting throne rooms as well as entryways to temples. It is the most commonly recurring creature in Hindu and Buddhist temple iconography, and also frequently appears as a gargoyle or as a spout attached to a natural spring. Makara ornaments are a popular traditional wedding gift for the bride. These makara shaped earrings called makara kundalas are sometimes worn by the Hindu preserver god Vishnu, the sun god Saya, and the mother goddess Chandi. Makara is also the insignia of the love god Kamadeva, who has no dedicated temples and is also known as Makarad Vijar, one whose flag depicts a makara. Etymology Makara is a Sanskrit word which means sea dragon, or water monster. In Tibetan it is called the Chu Srin and also denotes a hybrid creature. It is the origin of the word for crocodile mugger in Hindi. The English word mugger evolved meaning one who sneaks up and attacks another. The name is applied to the mugger crocodile, the most common crocodile in India, and is descriptive of its aggressive feeding behavior. Jose Friedrich Kohl of Wang one quarter LZBURG University and several German scientists claim that Makara is based on dugong instead, based on his reading of Jain text of Zari or Prayer Japlas or Minus Apti. The South Asian river dolphin may also have contributed to the image of the Makara. Vedic Depictions During the Vedic times when Indra was the god of heaven, Varuna became the god of the seas and rode on Makara, which was called the water monster vehicle. Makara has been depicted typically as half mammal and half fish. In many temples, the depiction is in the form of half fish or seal with head of an elephant. It is also shown in an anthropomorphic with head and jaws of a crocodile, an elephant trunk with scales of fish and a peacock tail. Lakshmi sitting on a lotus is also a depiction in which she pulls the tongue of the elephant shaped makara is meant to project Lakshmi's image as the goddess of prosperity, wealth and well-being. It represents a necessary state of chaos before the emergence of a new state of order. Makara is also the emblem of Kamadeva, the Vedic god of love and desire. It is also known as Makarakta which means long-tailed Makara. It is the tenth sign of the zodiac, called Ra Angstroma in Sanskrit, which is equivalent to the zodiacal sign of Capricorn. Iconography In Hindu iconography, Makara is represented as the Vahana of Ganga, the river goddess. A row of Makara may run along the wall of a Hindu temple, act as the handrail of a staircase, or form an arch above a doorway. The leading Hindu temple architect and builder Ganapati Thapati describes Makara as a mythical animal with the body of a fish, trunk of an elephant, feet of a lion, eyes of a monkey, ears of a pig, and the tail of a peacock. A more succinct explanation is provided, an ancient mythological symbol, the hybrid creature is formed from a number of animals such that collectively possess the nature of a crocodile. It has the lower jaw of a crocodile, the snout or trunk of an elephant, the tusks and ears of a wild boar, the darting eyes of a monkey, the scales and the flexible body of a fish, and the swelling tailing feathers of a peacock. Traditionally, a makara is considered to be an aquatic mythical creature. Makara has been depicted typically as half mammal and half fish. Some traditional accounts identify it with a crocodile specifically gharial because of its long extended snout. It is depicted with the forequarters of an elephant and the hindquarters as a fish tail. Crocodile was also a form which was used in the earlier days which was shown with human body. In many temples, the depiction is in the form of half fish or seal with head of an elephant. It is also shown with head and jaws resembling a crocodile, an elephant trunk with scales of fish and a peacock tail. Other accounts identify it with gangetic dolphin having striking resemblances with the latter, now found mainly in Vikramshila gangetic dolphin sanctuary. Others portray it as a fish body with an elephant's head. The tradition identifies the makara with water, the source of all existence and fertility. In the medieval era of South India, 
mackerel was shown as a fifth stage of development, symbolized in the form of an elephant head and body with an elaborately foliated fish tail. Most myths maintain the symbolism of this stage in the evolution of life. In a Hindu temple, the makara often serves as the structural bookends of a thoranam or archway around a deity. The arch emerges up from the jaws of one makara, rises to its peak, the kurtimaka, and descends into the gaping jaws of another makara. Varuna is also depicted as a white man sitting on the monster makara. As a marine monster, it is also shown with the head and legs of an antelope, and the body and tail of a fish. A makara made in iron showed the monster in the form of half stag and half fish. These elements are variously joined to form one of the most common recurring themes in Indian temple iconography. In Indian art, the makara finds expression in the form of many motifs, and has been portrayed in different styles. Makara figures are placed on the entry points of several Buddhist monuments including the stupa of Sankai, a world heritage site. It is found guarding the entrances to royal thrones. In the Tibetan Buddhist format it evolved from the Indian form of Makara. However, it is different in some ways such as, display of lion's four paws, a horse's mane, the gills and tendrils of a fish, and the horns of a deer or dragon. From its once simple fish tail, sometimes feathered, now emerges as a complex spiraling floral pattern known as makara tail design. In Tibetan iconography, it is depicted in the Varayana as a weapon of strength and tenacity. The Varayan weapons which have makara symbolism are axe, iron hook, curved knife, vara, and ritual dragon, in all of which the theme is emergence of the blade from the open mouth of the makara. Its symbolic representation in the form of a makara head at the corner of temple roofs is as water element which also functions as a rainwater spout or gargoyle. It is also seen as water spouts at the source of a spring. The artistic carving in stone is in the form of identical pair of makaras flanked by two nargas along with a crown of Garuda, which is called the Kurtimaka face. Such depictions are also seen at the entrance of wooden doorways as the top arch and also as a tirana behind Buddha's images. The newer art of Nepal uses this depiction extensively. In the war architecture, its depiction is. As guardian of gateways, the Makara image appears on the curved prongs of the vast crossed vara that encompasses the four gateways of the two-dimensional mandala. Of the three-dimensional mandala this crossed vara supports the whole structure of the mandala palace symbolizing the immovable stability of the vara ground on which it stands. The temples of ancient Java is notable with the application of Kala Makara as both decorative and symbolic elements of temple architecture. Kala as the giant head, often took place on the top of the entrance with Makaras projected on either sides of Kala's head flanking the portal or projecting on top corner as antefixes. Kalamakara theme also can be found on stairs railings on either sides. On upper part of stairs, the mouth of Kala's head projecting Makara downward. The intricate stone carving of twin Makaras flanking the lower level of stairs with its bodies forming the stairs railings. These types of stairs decorations can be observed in Bora Buddha and Prambanan temples. Makara's trunks are often described as handling gold ornaments or spouting jewels while in its mouth often projected garnered war figures or animals such as lions or parrots. Makaras are also a characteristic motif of the religious Khmer architecture of the Ang region of Cambodia which was the capital of the Khmer Empire. Makaras are usually part of the decorative carving on a lintel, tympanum, or wall. Makaras are usually depicted with another symbolic animal, such as a lion, naga or serpent, emerging from its gaping open mouth. Makara are a central design motif in the beautiful lintels of the Roliwos group of temples, Praeko, Bakung, and Lilai. At Banchus Rai, carvings of Makaras disgorging other monsters were installed on many of the building's corners. Ornaments, Lord Vishnu's earrings are shown in the form of Makara. Its contemporary usage is as ornaments in the form of bracelets in hollow silverware and laid with jewels for eyes and ears, which is given as a wedding gift to the bride. Makara's jewels are made of pearls which are stated to possess aphrodisiac properties. Distribution, stone sculptures of the mythological Makara and its ancient place in the iconography of Hinduism and Buddhism are widely spread throughout South Asia and Southeast Asia. 
Examples from 10 countries are shown below. Makara sculptures throughout South Asia and Southeast Asia. Cryptozoology Some cryptozoologists suspect the legend of the Makara may be based in fact, and associate it with a Tronco sighting on South Africa's Indian coast. Some ancient sketches of Makara do tend to resemble modern illustrated renditions of the prehistoric mammal Ambulocetus. A more reasonable identification of the creature is that with the South Asian river dolphin. An animal, which, though now endangered, was once abundantly found in the Ganges Brahmaputra river system and with which the Makara shares several visible similarities. Makara, Makara is the Sinhala term for dragon, an important figure in Sinhala Buddhist culture in Sri Lanka. It is depicted on Taranas and temple architecture and objects of prestige such as in castanes. History Since ancient time, Easterners believe that Makara is one of watery creatures and even from the pre-era of the field of Buddhist art, Makara has been depicted both in work of literature and stone carvings. Makara gained a distinctive position in the Sinhala Buddhist culture, a special place not given in Buddhist artwork in other countries. In Sinhalese ancient artwork Makara has been an invented creature. It is made up of body parts of six or seven animals such as the trunk of the elephant, jaws of the crocodile, ears of the mouse or ape, extruding teeth of wild swine, the tail plume of the peacock and feet of the lion. Artistic work it is obvious that the Sinhala artists attributed a special symbolic meaning to Makara by adding the picture of Makara around a said stone carving. In addition to that, the Sinhala artists have given more opportunities for Makara to enter into the art world. Equals Dragon Balustrade equals. The Dragon Balustrade is another kind of stone carvings which portray the Makara. These artworks used to decorate the entrance of Buddhist stupas, temples and bow trees. There are two balustrades at main entrance of Lankafalaka Viharaya in Kandy and they are sometimes called Gajasina balustrades because of the shape of the Makara there. Equals guard stone equals, the guard stone has given a highest place to Makara. Over the head of the gatekeeper carved in there, the figures of Makara can be seen. Equals Pandol equals. Sinhala Buddhist artists considered Makara as the symbol of prosperity and self-sufficiency so they were not hesitant in portraying the sign of Makara in the entrance arch gateway to the religious places, such as temple, stupa or bodhi. Precious examples for the above are Temple of the Tooth and Lankatalaka Temple in Kandy. Examples for the arched gateway with Makara over the image of Lord Buddha can be seen in Raidi Viharaya and Dambula Cave Temple. A figure of Makara has been carved to the handle of a temple key of Gadolidnia temple built in 1344 in Digla in Kandy district. Flags Since at least the 14th century, people of the Karavi caste in Sri Lanka use a flag with the symbol of Makara which is called Makara flag and their ceremonies along with their ancient clan names like Varuna and titles such as Aditya. Literature There are two modern literature works with the title of Makara in Sri Lanka. The collection of short stories titled Makara in Sinhala language is authored by Gunaratna Wikramage and published by the prominent book publisher in the country, Goddard International Publishers and the book won the Goddard Literal Award for Best Short Stories Collection in 2007. The other is a short story titled Makara written by Sri Lankan writer Anandajiri Kalapugama. References Dictionary of Hindu Law and Legend by Anna Dilapakala the Illustrated Book of Signs and Symbols by Miranda Bruce Mitford. External links. Bibliography, Pereira, ADTA. Makara, Crafted with Matuk. Religious News 5, pages 6 Euro 7. CS1 Maintenance, Extra Text, Shukman, Derek. The Custer Rajagala. Daily News. Retrieved March 18, 2012.